what's good my lovelies and welcome to my channel lovely soul empress today i'm going to be doing capricorn's love reading from the 6th to the 13th um if you're looking for a private reading my information will be in the description box if you want to follow me on instagram you'll find me at lovely soul empress where i pull a daily tarot card for the overall energy of the day uh, as well i'm going to be doing my second um contest for uh, the month of July. Uh, if you're interested in entering, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment to on any one video, and you'll be entered for the month. Um, the winner will receive a free Celtic spread reading, um, and I will announce that on August 1st, okay? Um, so, like I said, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well for the Cross Watcher, if you're dealing with a Capricorn or someone who has those important placements. Um, the, first, the three top signs from last week was Capricorn, Aquarius, and Virgo, so you guys are getting your videos first, and that's how it'll go. The, the video that's um, the most watched will um, be the ones that go up first, okay? So, we're going to jump right in. We're going to pull... Um, a seven card spread um i am going to uh, clear the energy and we will begin if you want to clear your energy with me just um take a deep breath close your eyes and let's begin Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so I'm only going to take jumpers. If you want to fast forward, that's fine, okay? Spirit, can you show me what you have for Capricorn, Spirit? Capricorn, for the highest good, Spirit. For the highest good. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. July 6th to the... 13th spirit most important messages that they need to know right now sun moon rising and venus spirit one more spirit one more capricorn sun moon rising and venus spirit thank you spirit at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands. Okay. So Capricorn, you have the Hanged One, Justice, and the Knight of Swords, Hermit at the heart of the matter. Your partner has Temperance, Nine of Swords, and the Five of Wands with the Queen of Wands as the overall energy. I'm going to start uh, clarifying right away. Spirit... <clears throat> Why is the hang one here for Capricorn spirit? Why is the hang one here for Capricorn? Why is the hang one here for Capricorn spirit? Okay, so the hang one talks about needing a new perspective or going into the hang man position because you're feeling stuck or you can't see um, the road that you need to take. Now the six of pentacles is clarifying that. So the Six of Pentacles is the merchant card. It talks about giving to two situations or needing to balance out something, okay? So I feel like you feel like something is imbalanced at this time. Now, first off, this, um, this hang one, this could be um, Pisces, Cancer. Um, the Six of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and as well Libra because that's the Merchant card. So let's continue. Spirit, why is Justice here for my Cap Gang? Why is Justice here for Capricorn, Spirit? Justice is being clarified by the Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So Justice is Libra. It also talks about 
karma, karma from the universe, receiving good karma, receiving bad karma, asking the universe why something isn't working out for you, or asking the universe to repay those who have uh, done you wrong, okay? So, and the justice card is the card of Libra. So already you have Libra here twice. I feel like you might be dealing with a Libra. Um, and that's being clarified by the Knight of Swords, okay? So the Knight of Swords talks about rushing in, um, sometimes haphazardly, you know, harsh words, uh, tough communication, right? And that's being clarified by the King of Pentacles, which is you, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So I feel like you might have had hard words with somebody. Maybe you felt that they weren't giving equally to you. Okay, and um, right below that is, again, the Knight of Swords. So you got the Knight of Swords twice. So this um, this arguing energy or some type of words that you have with somebody it's it's like a passionate thing because it's here with the eight of wands which talks about passionate communication now passion doesn't always mean like um sexual or or even happy sometimes you could be passionately angry about something which is the energy that i'm receiving off of this either you or somebody else uh, spirit, why is the Knight of Swords here with the Eight of Wands, Spirit? Temperance, which talks about patience, forgiveness, divine timing. So you're trying to be patient with somebody, but you're, you're feeling kind of hot about the situation. All right? Now, at the heart of the matter, you have the Hermit. Spirit, why is the Hermit here at the heart of the matter for my cat gang? Spirit, why is the Hermit here at the heart of the matter? July 6th to 13th, Spirit. Why is the hermit here for my cap gang spirit? The hermit at the heart of the matter spirit, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So you've gone into the hermit mode, which is the Virgo energy. Okay, a fellow earth sign. And then you got the four of wands. So it's talking about the home life. So you're trying to get a new perspective and you're getting guidance from source about this home life situation. That's being clarified by the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. So you found this situation to be quite difficult. It's been weighing on you for quite some time, but you're trying to stand firm. And then that's being clarified with five of wands. Why? Because there's been a lot of conflict. This conflict is due to some type of competition. Okay, and then that's being clarified by the hermit. So again, you're trying to get perspective and you're getting information from source and that's being clarified with the high priestess, meaning that you're not sharing what you're feeling, but you are definitely getting downloads as to regards to this situation because this high priestess and this, hempre, this uh, uh, hermit energy says to me that you are in tune with the divine. You're getting messages from the divine. You may not be sharing at this time what you're receiving, but you're definitely um, feeling in tune at this time. Now, your partner has temperance. Spirit, why is temperance here for Capricorn's partner, Spirit? Why is temperance here for Capricorn's partner, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is temperance here, Spirit? Temperance. So temperance talks about, like I said, divine timing, patience, forgiveness, right? And the seven of wands is talking about uh, standing your ground and competition. So they might feel like they have competition, but they're holding their ground. Five of swords talks about trying to win at any costs, backbiting and arguing. So um, they're trying to hold their, um, their position. As well, there could have been a lot of fighting with this conflict and these um, two knight of um, knight of swords, and then you also have the five of wands, the five of swords. So it feels to me like this person um, you might have been fighting with this person. Uh, it may be in reference to your home life. Now the empress, or oh, I mean the high priestess. She also can, um, 
she could represent a mistress. So I feel like I haven't seen any cards except for the Six of Pentacles, which talks about giving to two situations. I haven't seen any cards here that actually say that there's a third party. So my feeling is maybe you suspect this person of having a third party. Okay, um, let's continue. Spirit, why does Capricorn's partner have the Nine of Swords? So the Nine of Swords talks about anxiety and sleepless nights, which this person is going through right now um, because of all this fighting and conflict. And it does look like you are angry with somebody. And this Eight of Swords, is that's clarifying the Knight of Swords, talks about a prison of their own making, being stuck in your head, feeling like you're stuck, but you're not actually stuck. So the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords, Spirit, why this for Capricorn? Yeah, because um, they would like to start anew, whether it be with you or somebody else. This is the Ace of Cups offering a new love. Okay, so I feel like Maybe they thought you were giving to two people. Maybe they think that you have a new love. Okay. Spirit. Why the five of wands, spirit, for Capricorn's partner? Why the five of wands for Capricorn's partner, spirit? Why the five of wands? So the five of wands talks about um, conflict and, and uh, competition. As you see, there's five women here fighting, right? And then that's being clarified by the Four of Cups, which talks about uh, somebody afraid to make a love offer, uh, doesn't want to make a love offer, or someone afraid to accept a love offer, or someone losing interest in a love offer. So um, I feel like while this competition is going on, somebody's losing interest or afraid that you are. Spirit, why is the Five of Wands and the Four of Cups here, Spirit? Five of Wands with the Four of Cups. For Capricorn's partner spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So they're waiting. Um, they might want to make this offer to you, or they might have already made this offer to you, and they're waiting to find out what your decision is going to be. Spirit, why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here for Capricorn spirit as the overall energy? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Queen of Wands. So this person that you're dealing with could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um, the Queen of Wands is looking good, smelling good, feeling good. Um, and she's very uh, sure herself. Uh, she's passionate. She's a go-getter. She's sassy. She's feisty. And that's being clarified by the Ten of Cups. Happy life, happy wife, happy family card. Let me get one more, Spirit. One more. Queen of Wands with the Ten of Cups, Spirit. Queen of Wands with the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> so that's being clarified by the two of cups so this queen of wands like i said could be aries leo sag this could be how your partner sees you or this could be your partner right now um the two of cups and the five of pentacles talks about somebody being left out in the cold so if there was a third party that person is being left behind Okay, and then that's being clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. This also can be you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, she is a, um, a nurturing um, queen. She's intelligent. She's very good with money. Um, and she's like the quintessential wife. And you have the King of Pentacles here. So you're the true pair. You got the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups. Okay, so what's holding back? is this five of pentacles energy somebody feeling left out in the cold so i feel like um the high priestess is taurus and gemini right uh i feel like if there was a third party prior they're being removed they're being removed. They're, they're being left out in the cold. That's going to put this competition to an end because the true pair is here. Um, and the bottom of the deck, six of cups. 
which talks about reconciliation. So I feel like um, whatever problem you guys are going through, you're going to be getting some clarity on this situation. Maybe you thought that there's somebody still involved. I get the impression that that has come to a close. Um, Spirit, can you show us what Capricorn's partner would like to say but hasn't? Um, can you show us what Capricorn's partner would like to say but has not said as of yet, Spirit? What are they feeling emotionally, Spirit? Any other messages? Any other messages, Spirit? Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. So the first one that came out, our separation is unbearable but helpful. We need to work on ourselves individually. I need some time alone. A temporary separation is needed. And now that we are united, we can work out anything. So if you guys uh, are coming out of this uh, separation, they feel stronger now. If you haven't yet, that's their goal. Okay, let's get some, um, some uh, further clarity. Spirit, how does Capricorn feel about their partner, Spirit? How does Capricorn feel about their partner? How's Capricorn feel? How's Capricorn feel about their partner spirit? July 6th to the 13th spirit, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. How's Capricorn feel? Capricorn spirit? Capricorn? How's Capricorn feel spirit? I have a feeling you're still mad at this person. That's the energy I'm picking up. Spirit. So you think that uh, they're a flirt, but you also feel like this is a past life relationship. Spirit, how does Capricorn's partner feel about them? How does Capricorn's partner feel about them? How does Capricorn's partner feel about them, Spirit? How does Capricorn's partner feel about them? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. July 6th to the 13th, how does Capricorn's partner feel about them? They want to express their love to you. They think you're their soulmate. Um getting to know each other so they might feel like there's somebody else on the scene which we already talked about but they have very romantic feelings for you and they want to reconcile okay spirit what actions will capricorn take towards their person this week spirit so you're still paying attention to the red flags and you feel like there's some healing uh, a need to heal family issues spirit what action will capricorn's partner take towards them what actions will Capricorn's partner take towards them, Spirit? They're trying to keep an open mind. They want you to trust them. They feel you're worth waiting for. Okay? Spirit, what's the outcome for my Capricorn gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Week of um, July 6th. It says, love yourself first. Any other messages, Spirit? Capricorn. It's true love. But there's trust issues. You might have been working towards a deeper commitment with this engagement card. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations are needed, okay? But you do have the release your ex here and give your relationship a chance. So meaning that it's very much still up in the air between the two of you. I'm going to get some advice from Spirit and we'll close this out. Spirit, can I get some advice from my Capricorn gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the time period of July 6th to the 13th? So it says choose you. Okay, so um, that's the message I have for you at this time. This has not... um. This hasn't all the way played out yet, and it may play out within the next couple of weeks, but they are trying to get themselves aligned. But you do have to pay attention to the red flags here, so you're going to have to be observant over the next couple of weeks. And as Spirit said, you need to concentrate on yourself right now, okay? So that's what I have for you, my wonderful Capricorn gang. If I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment. Would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. I'm wishing you light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.